So this is where we're up to in the quarterfinals. Already plenty enough to get the juices flowing. Well, look, when you reach this stage of the competition, you begin to think you can go the distance. Now, the big characters in either dressing room will be stressing the need to find whatever it takes to get through. Has everyone got the substance and character to make it happen? These are the questions that both of these sides have to answer today, and one side will obviously do it that bit better. So we're up and running. Forward it goes. Loses his balance and loses the ball. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Whipped in. Goalkeeper's ball. Now a chance to break. And it's played forward. He gets past his man. Timely intervention. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. He's gone for goal. Decent hit from there. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of... of... Has been clubbed away. Turns it out wide. He's left his man. A real chance to break. And he's going long. Amati battles to win it back. Keeper's got good distance on that. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Tries lifting it over. And the ball is out of play. Quadro Asamoah plays it forward, and it's been taken straight back. Over to the left, played back in. Tries to get it forward quickly. Gets away from his opponent. Gets it back. That's a bad place to challenge. What's he giving? Now the referee has given a free kick just outside the box. Towering header! Good ball, it's found the ball, that it hits one! Jim, your thoughts? Uh, Peter, that was just a, a defensive act of generosity that was always going to uh, have a painful ending.
Ghana have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? I think they've gone about their business with the opener very much in mind, and this all goes well now. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Oh, defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Ghana are ahead here, it has been a good half for them. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Hoists it forward. A little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution. Gets the better of his man. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Here it is. He's had a go. Tries a shot. This could fall anywhere. And that's it for the first half, a breathless ending. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but Robert still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up for now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Ghana, they're in at half time with a slender one goal lead. So we're already into the second period. Well, 1 0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Keeper sends it forward. Plays it back. Just brushed off the ball there. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. And he's going to have his name taken. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, look, Peter, who knows what's about to happen from here? Uh, I doubt this will be the final score, though. So, big chance! Oh, it's there! And they're back in front! Oh, that always looked the likely outcome. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. So we have a breakthrough, now how will things develop from here? 
And that's a foul, free kick's been given. And that's going to be a booking. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. It's got through to him. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. And the shot! To the good, they have breathing space. He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick minded was that? He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display! What a player. So the lead now is two. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Forward it goes. Oh, he's asking too much with that. Time for a change in personnel. Amati. And the through ball is intercepted. Up towards the front line. Gets into a dangerous position. Looks to play him in. That's uh, a minor communications breakdown. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Hoists it forward with a delicate ball, and he's there to cut it out. And it's played forward. Schlup, Schlup spreads it towards the left. Ayu. Out towards the flank. Asamoah's delivery. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to, uh, to hold on for the support. Chance to break. Almost nothing left on the clock here. Well, Red, he sorted that out. He's going after it. Could have here their final chance. Tries to get it forward quickly. Shapes to shoot! No, he's missed it.
And he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. And here's the chance to counter. Plays it out to the wing. Back to the keeper and go again. Gets it upfield. And that's it. Ghana through to the last four. Just two more steps now. They have got a crack at it. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Very nicely negotiated. Not perfect, but it's all about moving on and mission accomplished.